Alrighty, boys and girls. Well, prepare for a bull market. Things are heating up right now, and especially for meme coins. There is a lot to talk about in today's video. So let's get right into it. Now, what we have today here, guys, is Alex Becker, which is one of those big influencers out there and uh, that refuses to talk about meme coins. And one of my thesis was that we're going to start to see these big influencers slowly falling for meme coins. And now apparently he's going to make a video including meme coins. Now, he's not going to mention any specific meme coin, but this is the start. And let me tell you why. So this is very important to look at and understand because I've been thinking about this for a long time since we've seen now like literally Q1 2020. 24 meme coins are the biggest gainers right if you were allocating into meme coins you made around 14x overall against the market right and uh, ai coins barely made a 3x right and overall in the crypto market it's a lot about adapt or die if you don't adapt to the situation you have you never make it because what we see usually is every every bull market we have new narratives here we had the ico boom right we had the xrp we had the each we had payment systems we had bitcoin cash litecoin stuff like that pumping here and anybody who tried to use the same coins or the same narrative here in 2021 or the, at the start of 2019 here 2020 this is like where we are at now if you try to play this game you didn't make it and people really started to learn this right people started to learn to find new narratives or the narratives of this cycle to make it and my thesis was at some point these big influencers are again to capitulate that they are gonna give up on the idea of their gaming coins or whatever coin is gonna outperform this cycle because they have to adapt we're seeing this happen here we've seen new coins gaming coins we've seen nfts we've seen even the start of the meme coins but they were a bit late here shiba you know came in a bit late right after we got a bear market so they did not get their chance and then we had pepe and then we had bonk whiff and stuff like that then we had a lot of mania here pump out fun and all that stuff and and usually what we see here we had uniswap we had DeFi, we had like um coin ethereum killers and stuff like that and those that were born here were the big gainers here and the same thing here this year right and that's why i've been bullish the whole time on meme coins it's because i've noticed this i've seen pepe shocking the world pepe getting listed four weeks later on binance and making that big move there was clear signs that uh, we're gonna have a meme coin bull market and it was a matter of time until these big influencers start to finally do it now we've seen crypto bander doing um, talking about meme coins at soon we're gonna see them all talking mainly about meme coins because they have to adapt and this means we are early right you and i today we are early buying meme coins and getting ready for the bull market so that's why it's very huge now it goes without saying right if you go to the meme coins it, they're gonna be big winners they're gonna be medium winners they're gonna be small winners it's gonna depend a bit on each narrative that's why also within the meme coin space we want to have narratives as well that's why guys you see me big on pepe pepe related coins the pepe verse and stuff like that because this is gonna happen right we're gonna see big influencers capitulating we're capitulating we're gonna see a lot of people joining also right it's coming right i'm gonna talk about that also because xrp is pumping it's a huge sign of that coming retail is gonna come so within these narratives we want to have the strongest ones that's why i always say eat we have the eat etf we have eat also no no pump no fun none of that we want to actually be investors not traders we want to hold something like hold it till it's actually morning i'm holding paper from like 200 million bonk 100 million and the list goes on coins i'm holding from last year two three million dollars in their market cap like toshi and stuff like that i'm still holding because i'm waiting for this to happen i'm waiting for that real real massive euphoria but to come back to this um narratives is very important right also you got cultish coins like recently we've seen more coin and turbo right very strong community now turbo is bouncing to, to around 300 million dollars in this market cap it looks like from the look of it or uh from the chart it is coming back right it's finally coming back for the turbo guys good days happy days for you guys overall guys the, most of the coins you see here today are gonna make gain right they're gonna pump it just some are gonna pump harder than the others right the same thing we've seen previously here here we had like this is the start of DeFi 
and then eat killers and then these guys were the pumpers right so here as well it's the same thing right meme coins are going to be the pumpers and all the coins that were launching here they all made it or most of them right they most of them made it they just need to last enough right the last enough they did not rock they stayed consistent and all that stuff but the narratives are important anyhow now there is one more thing which is very important patience a lot of people don't want to be patient right don't want to be patient that's why i include time frames i, I usually try to include time frames in these things because people want to know when it's the pump right that's what people do right so like we invest in meme coins some people are used to these like 100x overnight and stuff like that those don't last coins that pump fast and dump that's it right you know that they've got rich and that's it they left right they're not gonna care about your coin anymore but the coins that go slowly over time they keep people in right like we've seen with turbo coins that stay slowly gaining over time are the best anyways time frame what we have here today so you see guys these lines here are the bitcoin halving so it, it happens every four years we all know the the history now so it seems like we might have made that low so we, there is a low that happens each time after after the Bitcoin halving so we had a low here right we had this low and this one also here we had another low that's 2016 so this started the 2017 bull market we had a low and here also we had a tiny teeny low or we had a right before it this was the 2012 2013 this was like uh, before times but you see something important here in 2020 halving this is important we had a low right it we had a low and then after that we brought broke out you see this low and then we broke out and then that's it we formed this cup and then we sent it but most importantly the time frame so we put that low here and then by the time we broke out it was 90 days and then the real bull market started with that candle breaking out these are weekly candles with that candle breaking out it took around 150 days now if we count from this halving guys this is important right so from this halving we already made the low which is very likely the low of the halving this means we're never gonna come back to these lows now right people that sold here people that sold here are gone forever they are gonna have to buy higher that's it this dip here was possibly it so look at that we took now from the halving 77 days and then 90 days will put us next in two weeks we're gonna complete that breakout in two weeks so in two weeks we need to see bitcoin breaking out and then the real bull will start 150 days the breakout the true breakout which puts us around september which is like the time frame i've been talking about when we're gonna see the real start of the bull market and stuff like that now you got this time frame right so keep you keep that in mind we have 150 days it doesn't matter what happened within this time frame so usually we see this 150 days and then the breakout now there is one more thing how long this will last right for those that are gonna come late or those that are wondering how long the party is gonna last right so here the party started or lasted one year till this top it lasted one year from the halving right from the halving one year and then overall for the second peak it lasted 500 days right almost two years or a year and a half or 18 months so now if we look at it here from the halving 320 days will put us or 300 almost a year 320 days will put us around march 2025 so this goes with what i've been saying also we're gonna have that first meme coin rally we're gonna see pepe breaking above 10 billion right and possibly flipping shiba in or making that real real massive gain going towards that 50 billion and all that flippy shiba you know and really really starting the real baby verse season this all lines up with that now right this will peak around march so it's gonna start september and it's gonna peak around march so th th this is the time frame we start in september we peak in march and then we're gonna have comes may sell and go away thing right we're gonna have the may shake out like usual we had here this was may right this was this peak was may usually in may we see a shakeout with that said this overall takes around 500 days which means also we're gonna have a long bull market till september of the next year 
Now, here, we have different story. We have a different story. We might see the Pepeverse playing out till Mars 2025, right? Pepeverse, Pepe, Pepe related coins and all that stuff. Meme coins, all that, right? We're going to have that. Now, we still obviously have to monitor what's going to happen along the way. But that's what I'm thinking because that's, that's what happened previously, right? So here in the second peak, we might see a total different narrative, a total different one, which, which we don't know now, right? They're going to be something new. So here, guys, we had gaming. Nobody thought of gaming here or nobody thought of anything else here people were buying eat killers they were buying xrp still right they were buying different coins cardano there, there was a, a whole different thing cardano avalanche adam aos all kind of coins that are kind of claiming to be eat killers but then we had gaming coins out of the blue right we had axie infinity we had some kind of like takeover axie infinity took over the philippines and people started using it there and started replacing their jobs with it and stuff like that there was a totally Un unexpected narrative and it happened because of covid and people did not have jobs and started playing games to make money so uh, this was unexpected we don't know what's gonna happen here this is more like a white swan event something that is unexpected some people are saying ai coins could do that but we already know ai coins they've been rallying here they did not do well so we see them doing a 200 percent right like a two three x and they will rally too right they will see a rally but not a great rally right i still have this harsh ai kind um, chart here looking like that and this is like supposedly one of the top ai meme uh, coins meme coins which are, which they are just meme coins but they, they they claim to be ai anyways so we're gonna see them running but not as much and then this second peak so the second peak we still don't know right you need to subscribe so we are gonna keep an eye on that we might still see meme coins maybe uh, some sort of a uh, different style of meme coins maybe we're gonna have the the real pumped up fun gambling people not caring anymore maybe we're gonna have a true like people are replacing jobs with gambling meme coins on solana this that could happen we will see but overall we're gonna have that happening with meme coins first that's what we need to think about now meme coins here so that's that's our shot here we have around one year literally to just be playing meme coins so th this is a long way to that second peak that's more than a year right so that's a long way here that's 500 400 days here is closer it's gonna start september which is 150 days and it's gonna end in mars of 2025 which is a year year like a, a slightly below slightly less than a year we have time right so that's for the people are asking when is this pump gonna happen but just keep in mind right this is important too right because i i have a feeling right i have a feeling people think now that we're topping and a lot of people made a lot of money here we if you if you held any coin here from meme any meme coin here you're you're pretty much way high up here like even if you bought any old coin from the last cycle like baby doge or something you're up and a lot of people joined here and these people now they think they missed they think they missed the rally they think they missed the pump those are the people that are jitters right now those are the people that are afraid and scared because they haven't experienced the pop the pumps and the up only and these people think they are late so i have a feeling these people are gonna are not gonna make it that's the thing and these people now what they're doing they're selling these people that join in late they sold the bottom here very likely because they're thinking they came late they did not experience any pumps they bought tops of everything almost and when they buy some some tiny bullish meme coin low cap they think that's it like they think that that's the pumps are very short they get out quick and that's why they call them the jeets literally and that that top created a lot of jeets but what they don't know is we are gonna have the next one and then it's gonna be late right so by march next year it's gonna be late then right here these people that are gonna come here they're gonna be late now it's not late and these people don't know it but they're gonna buy again here and then they're gonna be late and i'm gonna make a video and i'm gonna say you're late now you're late to this coin but now they don't know that now they think they are late and if they say they hear someone saying you are not late or we're still gonna go up they don't believe that or they think it's uh it's bullshit because they never seen it they never experienced and that's why also i say the meme coins we have now today they are cheap we might not say that about them in few months and we're not gonna have these opportunities we have today and that's why also i say guys it doesn't matter which coin you have we're gonna see way way higher prices it's just matter of how low did you get in are you early did you get in early on some coins right do you have diamond hands can you hold till this happens right till this thing happens this is what we're waiting for literally that's what we're waiting for and it happens every every halvening we get pump that's it we get a bull market and for some reason people still fade it for some reason people get bearish and sell like you can't make this shit up but i guess that's how, that's the market right there has to be a seller to sell to the buyer and like money changes hands and smart money and uh dumb money goes to the smart money right so
So people joining late because they have no experience by that. That's why they are dumb because they don't have experience. Literally, it's not they that they are. They're, they're not smart. It's just they don't have experience and they sell to the smart money that knows that this happens all the time. Right. It happens literally all the time. That's why I also say believe your eyes. Right. So the market cannot trick you. And you see that happening all the time. Like we we always pull a low before after the halving and then we send it. Right. And that's the thing here, guys. Now, one more thing we've seen recently is Ripple XRP. There were also some settlement rumors which made XRP pump 40 percent. It is true. XRP finally pumped 40 percent. But guess what? It's back to almost usual price. Right. So it's been around here for 700, almost 80 days. Yeah. So 80, 800 days of XRP going sideways. Now, why I'm showing you XRP? So I don't know about you, but a lot of, of my friends, those that are not interested in the crypto space, back in the 2021, they called me asking about XRP. Should they buy it, right? They, they call the top here. A lot of them bought the top. Last time, even a friend called me and said, he said he's still down on XRP. He cannot wait to sell. He wants to sell it. He's never going to come back to crypto. And a lot of people are down on XRP because it, it, it was or it's still one of the most popular coins. Everybody look at it. What my guess is, is we're gonna have the real true altcoin season once XRP reaches these prices here because a lot of the people from 2021 a lot of the retail are still stuck on XRP they are still there it's like a honeypot right XRP is a honeypot like you buy the top you get stuck right you you land in the honeypot you cannot fly back up and you stay there so that's the biggest honeypot in history that we've ever seen is XRP right if you go to a honeypot checker they will not tell you XRP is a honeypot but it is it's a honeypot and it's been around it's been ranging here 800 days so this honeypot here needs to break out needs to not be a honeypot anymore and let people out and once the people are gonna get out of this honeypot they're gonna start buying coins they're gonna start buying meme coins they're gonna start finally breaking free from this xrp matrix thing right xrp is kind of like a cult once you buy it you stay in there but once you free yourself from it you finally start making gains and start opening your eyes to the world and uh that's my thesis around xrp we need xrp to pump literally at this point we need it to pump to actually free capital free capital and get people buying again other coins that's the thing so that's why i like to see this bullish stuff about xrp it pumped it pumped 40 percent but still those are rumors we always see them with xrp it's kind of like a toxic thing with xrp but like i don't understand people in this cult but they love pain right so they've been here for a while and they love to see these rumors they live to see those rumors those xrp wins and the sec they've been doing this for a long time and um, it's most likely another rumor or we're most likely gonna see this happen with this win we had this xrp win here xrp rallied 80 percent and we might see maybe like if it's denied we're gonna see another push down but it might take it till like literally end of year to see it a bit push push a little bit and then these guys are gonna buy the tops on other things but that's the thing here with xrp as well it's a good good indicator of where the market is at right if it pumps that's it we're good anyways guys hope you enjoyed today's video now you know the time frames what we're waiting for we have some time to be here right you are here for a while now you have to accept that you want to hold your bags if you hold the right things and the pumps are gonna happen now along the way we're gonna see a lot of things happening uh, obviously and that's why i'm gonna keep you updated you can join my discord link in the description it's free to join and you can follow me on twitter link in the description and thank you again for watching this video till the end and i'll see you on the next one cheers